Hey everybody, welcome back to Satisfactory. And check out our central processing build. It's <laughs> it's coming along. It's not it's not amazing, but it's getting there. Done a lot of work on the front, still trying to push things back. Uh, I still need to figure out how we're going to do... I want to do this type of concrete ring around these sections here where they bump out and in. I'm going to have to figure that out at some point, and I might drag you guys along for that as well. Uh, that's not going to be this episode, though. This episode, I have other plans. But yeah, I think it's coming along pretty good. Um, I'm not a huge fan of how flat these pillars are here. I have an idea of how I might be able to make them look less flat. Uh, and we're going to try that right now. Um, I also might get rid of these upper two floors. I don't know yet about that, but that could happen. Uh, but for now, we're going to play around with these pillars, and then we're going to do some other stuff. So, let's have a nice gentle float down there. And while we're having our gentle float, we can talk about tonight's beverage. Tonight's beverage is a plasma spitter. Plasma spitter is blue curacao, melon liqueur, tequila, and triple sec, and some sparkling water. Cheers. And look at that crazy color. Kind of matches the, uh, the walls of the facility. Well, kind of. That's a bit of a stretch. Cheers. Okay. So, let's fix up these real quick. And how am I going to fix these up? I think what we're going to do... I think we are going to get rid of these upper floors. Which means i got to get rid of these railings. So what I was thinking... Get rid of you as well. How are we going to do this? I think... Three. Hmm. I think we will start here and get rid of all of this. Because what I want to try... I'm going to flash that on. There we go. Is something like this. No, don't erase that, please. No, don't erase that, please. Just this. Oh, actually, no. I do want that there. Sorry. I lied. I do want that there. Please go back in there. Oh. Okay. Those I want gone. And what are you? Okay, yeah, you're gonna have to be here too. Just because I had to use, like, partial walls in order to fit under the curvature of the ceiling there. So that's why that's there. Now, what I had in mind was something like this. Um, we'll keep that balcony there for now. I want to try something like this. So if we put a slope... And I have to make it out of concrete. Because if I don't use these concrete walls, and I just use foundations, there'll be a bit of a gap. Which I do not want. So I was thinking something like this. And real quick while we're here, because I want to try to get a couple of these done this episode. Although actually I think I only have one, so that might not work. But is the hard drive. Yeah, I only have one. Shoot. Well, whatever. It's going now. Okay. So, from these... Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to be able to have this. This is going to look silly. Yeah, we don't like silly things. Okay. Get rid of all of this, and then fall. And get rid of all of you. Okay. Now this floor is our main manufacturing floor. Yes, okay, cool. So this is the correct floor, <laughs> which is good. 
Ooh, not you, stop. Okay, cool. And we are going to do our... Nope, not in there. Right here. Make these out of concrete and be completely blind. So yeah, see if I don't have these walls, these lined with walls, there's a weird gap, which I think looks kind of weird. I do not want a weird gap. I'll keep the flashlight on for now, it's dark enough. Concrete wall. And concrete wall, okay. So I unlocked in architecture these concrete pillars. So I was thinking what we could do is either have, oops, sorry, zoop, come down like so. Okay, maybe not like so. We might have to uh, attach this to like a flat foundation first. and then build the slope foundation over top. So if we go like this, how is this gonna look? Cool. Now it could be all finicky, yep. Cool. We're gonna do the same on the other side. Oh, that stayed as concrete. Does it go in as the last material I used or something? Huh, okay. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Will you work a little better if I uh no you won't? Okay. Oh right, this other foundation is still here. Why are you on your side? I wonder if it's based on the way I'm looking at it. That could be. Okay, so does that break it up a bit more? Hmm. It does. And I'm going to do the same thing down on this section here. So I'm going to have this, like, go in and then ramp up here again with more of this. Now, these are a little on the slender side. So the other thing I was thinking is possibly doing something like this. And I don't know if you guys are interested in all this decoration stuff. I like it. Um, maybe let me know in the comments if you're down with watch me play around with all of this stuff. If not, I mean, I'm not going to do like every single piece of decoration, but if you guys have zero just in this, let me know, and I'll stop subjecting you to it. But I kind of enjoy doing it. I think it's fun seeing what I can create, and I also like other, watching other people do it, because I like seeing what other people can create. So I thought I'd give it a shot. But if you are not interested, I will stop. So these are more slender. But overall, it's a thicker column. Hmm? Maybe. The other thing we can do is make it extra fancy and do this. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's that's how that happens. Okay, cool. That's good. So I am gonna do this on that column, and also I'm gonna do a little section kinda in here. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right now though. I will fix this one up. But I'm gonna do the rest in between episodes. Cause there's other things I wanna do today.
Um, well, first off, I have to show you how the blueprints went. So I have all those machines in there right now. All my constructors. They're not hooked up to anything. Power or belts, but they're there. And I noticed something that was probably driving everybody crazy in the last episode, and I'm sorry. But I built my first set of constructors correct. And then I built every single one after that first chunk backwards. <laughs> Oh, I don't know now. I feel like this looks weird. I don't know. We'll come back. So, um, yes, I built... Essentially, I built 17 constructors backwards. No, more than that. 18. I built 18 constructors backwards. Oh, no, 17. Sorry. That was correct. It was 17. So I had to go... Oh, I missed the floor. Ah... So I had to go through and erase a bunch of blueprints. Thank God the, for the blueprint mass deletion thing. That was very handy. I need to add another light in here. But yeah, I had to redo basically every single one of these. This one was the only one in the correct direction. But they are correctly oriented now. These ones... I have built backwards... So these, I believe, are my plates, I think, on the one side. Um, 20 iron rods and 15 iron plates. So yeah. These are my rods. These are my plates. So actually, the recipe needs to be changed. Um, so they're hooked up. The constructors hooked up backwards. The orientation of these things is correct, though. So, I don't know. <laughs> um, I am going to have to change the blueprints of all of these. But I'm not going to do it right now. I'll do that in between episodes, because I got 12 of them, and that seems like a long time. But you guys probably don't want to watch me press control V repeatedly for, like, five minutes. So we're not going to worry about that. What we are going to worry about, though, this side is wired up, this side is not. So let's get you wired up. Can I jump? I'd like to jump. Thank you. Okay, I'll just climb. Yeah, I noticed, actually, when I was wiring it up that, for some reason, this one had a f two free cables, and then when I tried to hook it into here, it only had f one free cable, and I was like, something's wrong. And that is exactly what was wrong. It was backwards. So I was hoping... Because there's lights all over these machines and the belts and stuff... I was hoping they would throw a little bit of light into the world. But it doesn't look like they do. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, like, there's no... There's no light being thrown off any of these. Which is too bad. Um, I do also want to play around, like I said, with the signs. So we'll look at that as well. But again, that's not for today. What we are doing today is, first off, we are jumping off of here. Perfect. Um, I want to start getting ready to bring concrete and stuff over. And that's going to require... Or concrete... Getting ready to bring our materials over here, which are going to be brought over by tractors. And for that, we're going to need a big unloading area out here, which is going to require basically a giant concrete platform. But there is all of this crap in the way, which I do not want to deal with. So, the best way to deal with that, I feel, is dynamite. Dynamite is the best way to deal with a lot of things. But specifically, those things. So, today, I am going to go get a... The um, sulfur node set up. And then we are going to bring a bunch of sulfur back so we can start going down our tree. We definitely want these. So we can start going down our sulfur tree. Now I do have actually 50 sulfur, I think. 
Nope, I have 35. Never mind. So yeah, we're going to go with the sulfur mine. And we are actually going to build a mine, and we're going to run power to it as well. Because I'm going to want a decent chunk of sulfur. I have Miner Mark too, right? I do. Let's build a Miner Mark II. Just so it goes faster, because I do want to stand, kind of stand there for a bit and wait for the sulfur to build up. So I don't want to stand there for too long. So Miner Mark II it is. And then when we leave, I'll, I'll put it back down to a Miner Mark I. Oh no, that's the wrong cable. There we go. So this stuff's probably all full. It totally is. It's totally not. Why is this not running? What happened? I don't even have steel beams going into here. <gasps> what happened? Where did all my steel beams go? All the belts are blank. How? How did this happen? Okay. I'm going to put a pause in here because you guys already know how I deal with this disaster. And, um... <laughs> We'll be back in a bit, so I will catch up with you after this situation is fixed. Man. Alright, we're back. Steel is happening again, which is good, because steel is important. But, um, I want to show you something. Look where my tractor is. Why is it way up in the pink forest? Like, it, I noticed that it wasn't getting deliveries at all. While I was doing that. And now it's up here. So... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, I guess we're building a new truck. But, for some reason, its path has now also been unhidden. Like, its path is here. So I think we have to go rescue the truck. So I can get rid of this stupid path. Or else this path is just going to be here the rest of the game. So I guess we're going on a truck rescue mission. And then, maybe in the next episode, we will do sulfur stuff. So weird. I've never seen a truck go like so far off route. Like, does it not just does it not just reset to the path when it gets super lost? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, I've never seen that before. Do I have space in my inventory for a truck? Yes. Oh, you can have that too. Perfect. Yeah, let's go see where this truck got to. Which means going into the pink forest already. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Now there's some stuff we can do on the way. Um, the best way up there is maybe where that yellow power slug is? I know what we can do. Do I know what we can do? Maybe I don't know what we can do. <laughs> no, I do know what we can do. I've got a better idea. So, we are going to want...
we are eventually going to want this bean to get out of the way. Because down here is where we're going to have all our sort of odds and ends manufacturing and assembling and constructing. One of those odds and sods is going to be our um, explosives. So... We're going to have an assembler here for... Oh my god. We're going to have an assembler here making the black powder. And we're going to have an assembler here making the actual mobilisks. Black powder requires sulfur. You, you couldn't line up a little better than that. Sulfur and coal. Now, I don't want to have to truck coal all the way from over there over to here. But I do know where there is another coal source. And that is just up the hill here. So why don't we go make a way to get up there. And then while we're up there, we can rescue our truck. Uh, I do want to build a miner, which is ironic because I just dumped one. This will probably have to be a level 2 miner at some point, but not right now. Okay. Now, for this, we are definitely going to need power. So, let's start getting some power poles going here. I still decided how I want to do power in here. I guess something like this. So... Instead of doing it like that, let's do it like this. Uh, no, that's fine. Oh, that is not correct. Now, I have never actually been to this coal mine before, so I have no idea what it looks like. Or how close to the edge it is. Well, sorry, I know that's not true. I have been there, but I haven't built on it. So I've never really had to deal with the logistics of getting it anywhere. So it's all going to be new and exciting. Oh yeah, sorry. These holes are going to be for um, where the rail railway tracks come in. I'm going to decorate these with like half foundations and do something cool with those as well, just to break up that wall a bit more. In case you're wondering what's going on with those. I do have plans. Okay. So that coal node and our truck are up there. And I believe the coal node is like right there. Is that true? Yeah. Cool. Um, that power line went into the pillar. So let's do this. Sure. I do a little platform here too for funsies. Oh, that's no fun. Now, the question is how do we get up there without dying? There is that path over there. Do we try it and po potentially get spidered? And get spidered upon? I think we can. Let's try it. There's a yellow power slug over here too. It'll be great. It'll be an adventure, guys. An impromptu truck rescuing adventure. You can see I started to bring my walls and everything out. And eventually this magnificent dome looking jobby with these weird holes in it. That's too bad. But eventually that'll come all the way across. What is the deal with these holes? There's holes in my roof. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, we're so gonna get spidered up here. 
Should I build the big beaten stick? Can I build the big beaten stick? I can build the big beaten stick. Oh, well, that's exciting. Where'd my other beaten stick go? Did I throw it away? Really? I must have, like dumped it in my chest or something by accident. Okay, there we go. We got the stick. It is a magnificent stick. Boom. <gasps> it didn't make the noise. Oh, that noise works. Okay. Oh, no. I hear someone stomping. Somebody's stomping around. Okay, where's my truck in relation to where we are? It's just up here. How that, I don't even know how it got up here. Do you see it? I'm scared. <laughs> this is not somewhere I want to be without a jetpack. Can I, uh... bugs what's hostile these bugs give a hostility warning now oh nailed it like a boss 66 percent i'll take it <laughs> two out of three ain't bad a truck is it in a cave is there a cave down here oh my god Okay, well, let's focus on plan one. Oh my gosh. Which was jumping before using the parachute. We're gonna die. There's too many spitters here. And by spitters, I mean bugs. These things. Oh, that was a good way to get across the water. Okay, that coal. It's gotta be up here. Oh no. Oh, is this the coal? No. Coal's over there. Hey, and it's available. Perfect. How bad are you gonna murder me, sir? He's, he's angry. There's some anger. Like the Matrix, baby. Oh, ho, 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 like it ain't no thing. Give me your tasty, tasty guts. Okay. So that was successful. Gotta get this power down there now. And maybe... I don't think I'm going to be able to zip up here, actually. <laughs> that might be too far. Cool. 
I wonder if that's too steep to zip up. Probably should have thought about that before I left without building my belt. Oh, I can zip up here. That's crazy. How are we doing for time? We're getting close. Um, why don't we build a Mark II belt at least over to the edge here. What is this? Is this pure? Normal. I'm going to build a Mark II belt anyways. This coal will eventually be used for other things. Potentially turbo fuel as well. Um, so we might end up needing a lot of it. But right at the moment, we're more interested in having it for, like I said, our explosives. Okay. So, I do think our truck, our tractor, is in a cave somewhere. Which is not ideal. Oh, I should have that slug. There's a slug on the side of the wall over here. Well, you'll have to wait until we have jetpack, I guess. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe go and see if I can find the truck and when I find it or when I find the cave that I think it might be in I'll come back? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, regardless, whatever I decide I'm going to do, I am going to be putting in a cut here. So thank you so much for watching everybody. I really hope you enjoyed the ep Oh, there's a big spider! Really hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. We will see you next time. Cheers.